In this video, we'll learn about the view part of Nest.js. That is how to render the web pages. To get started, let me go ahead and install the template engine we are going to use. As you already know, Nest.js by default uses Express under the hood. This means that we can use the template engines that are available in Express in Nest.js. An example is Handlebars, EJS, etc. Let me go ahead and install, actually, let me use EJS. I'll head over to the terminal and run npm install EJS. The next thing I'm going to do is to tell Nest.js where to find the template, that is the view template, and where to find the static asset, like images, um, um, CSS, whatever. To do that, we go to app, .ts, main.ts actually, head over to main.ts and paste this. I'm going to tell this just to give it a hint that this is express application. So I'll say nest express application and then import join from part. What this is saying is that we are going to have a folder named public for static assets like images and this is going to be located at from the folder that is containing this file we go one step up that will bring us to the same hierarchy as the src folder so let me go over there of course you can change this to whatever you want but i'm okay with where this is pointing to i'm going to create a folder and the next one is where to find the view template. Uh, we also create another folder for that. At this line, we are specifying the view engine we are making use of. So here it says handlebars, but we are making use of EJS. I will change it to EJS. With this, let me go ahead and add some template files. I have index.ejs here. And let me have HTML. Let me just have H1 here on my home page. I'm going to add another page later. Also, I will show you how to pass data to a specific template and how to pass data from a single point to all the templates. To test this out, let me go to app controller and make use of let me call this index now returning a string and just let me return not an empty object for now but what i want to do here is to say render render the file just choose any file you want to render it mustn't be this index for this route but here i'll say index no need to add .ejs there. I'll head over to the terminal and start the application. Start dev. With the application started, let me go ahead and give this a try. Visit localhost 3000. You can see we have that text homepage. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how to pass data to that template that is rendered. In this case, this index.ejs. And this is going to pass only to, specific, only to the specific file, not to all the views. We are going to get to the passing to all the views. Let me just put uh, the page title. Welcome to, welcome home, whatever. Just put something here. And then in the template file, we can access that variable using the EJS syntax, of course. Here I'm going to say, what is the syntax? I think it's percentage equals something like that, percentage. Save and reload the page. You can see we get that value. Welcome home. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to pass data to all the views 
So what I'm going to do is let me have another view. Let's call it about dot ejs and let me have another one in a folder. Should I call this pry or whatever? I just call it pages. You can call it anything you want. Just want to show you that everything mustn't be in the directly inside the views folder. Let me call this privacy.ejs. I'll do something similar. I'm going to copy this, paste here, and paste here. Then, what I want to do is to pass data to all these views from one place. For now, I'm going to have the route handlers for the three pages. This one is for the home page. The next one is for about. So it makes sense to call this about. About us. And this is located at just about directly inside the views folder. And here we have privacy policy. This is located inside pages slash privacy and here I will say privacy policy now I have the three pages let's check it to be sure that everything is there I'll go to localhost 3000 slash about why okay the route should say about and this route you see uh, slash privacy give this a try again so about us is working privacy no not the spelling privacy that also works now the next thing I'm going to do is to pass data to all the views to do that, I'm going to make use of middleware. Let me copy from documentation to save us some time. But this is the syntax to one of the syntax syntax is to create middleware. I'm going to use this syntax. Uh, <coughs> by the way, what am I doing? Let me just come here and create. Let's say views dot middle where dot ts so i just need to export class views views middle where just need to implement nest middle nest middle all right and help me to generate the methods i must implement the request is from express instead of any let me import from express request from express the same thing with response from express and next function what is all this next function from express here don't forget to call next to pass to the next middleware and now uh, okay what we need to do is just to make use of res object dot locals and whatever we pass to this res dot locals will be accessible from the views template for example let's say uh, dot app name to be equal to my app you can pass anything you want to pass let me pass something else um, contact is plus one two three okay and now I can go of course this is just next middle where you can make use of a dependency injection that next JS will handle for you here let's say for example you want to read something from dot env file and pass to to the views you can do that here what I'm going to do now is to bind this middleware to apply it to for the views and we go to apply middleware what we need to do is to go to a module I will make use of app module 
I'll go to app module and instead of this, I'm going to say implement next module. And this will give us access to middleware consumer we can use to apply the middleware. And the middleware in question here is views middleware. For this, I want to apply for all the, all the routes. You can choose specific routes that you want to apply to. This is just middleware stuff. Now, um, what we can do is to go to the views and try to access these variables. I will go to index.ejs file. Here, um, I'll go to a document title. So let me reload the page here, the home page. If you look at the browser, it says document. Okay, let's try to be more SEO friendly. So I'm going to say home and put the app name like that equals app name percentage and close. By the way, let me also drop the app name down here so it is so visible. All right. Now, if I reload this page, you can see it says home, my app. And of course, you can see the, the value here as well. I will copy this and do something similar for one other page. Let me go to privacy and put this like this. I will say privacy policy. Oh, by the way, we have this title coming here. Let me also reuse this here. And once again, I want to drop this here so that you see that it actually works for all the views. I will go to slash privacy. You can see that we get my app. And if you look at the, the page title, the meta title, you can see that we have privacy policy hyphen my app. The next thing I want to show you is how to make use of the assets like images. For this, I'm going to bring in an image into the public folder. So I've pasted this image uh, downloaded from Pixabay, Vietnam.ping. I'll go over to, let me just go over to index. Here I'm going to have image, src is slash Vietnam. You can actually even put this inside a folder to stay more organized. So let me have image folder and drag this thing inside it so you basically say slash which will refer to the to the base folder for the asset and here i'm going to say image and say viet vietnam dot ping all right i will save this and head over to the browser to the home page you can see that we have that image so this is how you can access whatever you have in the public folder including css javascript files all right guys this brings us to the end of this lesson on how to render views in nextjs i hope it makes sense until next time enjoy coding